All right, all right, all right. So as far as any, you know, final thoughts regarding uh, these demands and what you guys want to see from this country, what what do you want to convey to the audience as well? I'm going to start off with Corey for that one. Yeah, the biggest thing here is that we need unity. Uh, we can only, whether it's revolution or, or any other way, we can only do this if we work together. So the biggest thing is collaboration and organization. I think that we want to be arranging protests. We want to be arranging civil disobedience. I definitely want to get in these politicians' faces. I definitely want to be challenging them with independent candidates. But we need some uh, some level of, uh, of of planning together and, and saying, like, even, even in a small way, as groups go, like, we're going to go and do this. We're going to have signs that say this. We're going to solidify around a certain amount of goals. Obviously, you know, there, there, there's 11 of them there. There's a lot of points there. It's not like we're going to go into one, uh, you know, civil disobedience or protest movement with, with all of the demands we can pick and choose depending on, on our situations. But the biggest thing here is, is this is a collaborative effort. You know, you can always uh, reach out, reach out to Eric or, or to anybody. And, and we want this to really be a community thing. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it's about the ideas, not, not the personalities and we're all together. So what I would really like to see from this is just a solidification of going into these actions with some ask. Mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, Eric? Yeah, what he said. Co <laughs> <laughs> sign! Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> he dropped the mic on me. No, it's, um, no, of course, you know, definitely agree on that. You know, we want to be collaborating. And I, I guess the main thing I'm, I'm trying to, to, to push, if you will, to put out there, mm -hmm. to propose, it's a better mm -hmm. word, is that regardless of whether it's this list or another list or, or something, it, it, we need to have a demands-based movement. It needs to be something. True. And it I needs agree. to be, it, it needs to be clear, you know, it needs to be concise. I, I see other things out there in parties and people will, will say that well they their demands you know their things are about the same and you look them up and it's like you know page after page of, of policy statements and and whatnot and and there's no there's, there's nothing to just, you know you just your eyes bug out and then you and then you close the browser and you know it, it needs to be you know this thing fits on two pages so it needs yeah. to be something concise and then, you know, and then we can have links and we can have other sections or things like that that get into details and even policies and papers and things like that. But, yeah. you know, it, it's got to be, in my view, it's got to be a set of something that you can just wrap, wrap your hands around, wrap your mind yeah. around and say, you know, this is what we need and we're not settling for less. Yeah. And one thing I love about this is that this crosses so many different social communities, whether you're disabled, whether you're part of the LGBTQ plus community, whether you are a woman, whether you are uh, of the black community or whether you are an immigrant, whether, you know, even just for the cisgender white guy, there's so many benefits for everyone when it comes to these 11 demands that goes across the board. The only people that are actually not going to be happy are the oligarchs and the people who are way at the top who actually benefit from the system as is. So I just wanna, I wanna give a big thank you and a shout out to both of you for helping to convey this message and so that we can educate people on this because I think this is also very important. And you know, you guys are brilliant minded people which I'm glad to be in community with. And it was really a privilege to have you both on, really. It was a privilege to be here, JP. Well, I, I really, JB, yeah. yeah, I really appreciate you. I have utmost respect for the work you do. And uh, it's it's really been a pleasure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, also, uh, for Corey, you can catch him where you can catch him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for Eric, uh, Eric is also on Twitter. Uh, oh, wait, did I put your Twitter link? Oh. Damn it. Well, Let if you go to erictred.com, you can find me. Okay, you can find there, him on There's a Twitter link at the bottom of the page. 
Okay. But you can always find us in Sabby Sab Show. Um, Corey uh, also uh, does the production engineering there sometimes as well. You'll you'll see him in the chat as well. Okay. You guys do great jobs on there, by the way. Just saying, I I, I admire your work. <laughs> so yeah. All right, everybody. Love you so much. Thank you to everybody in the chat. I gotta get over to RBN. Water your plants. Water yourselves. Leave the world better than you found it and also forehead kisses mwah, and make those demands baby <laughs> demand baby do it make demands and have demand ah, ha, ha. yeah